Hi everybody, welcome back. It's me, Gayatri again. Last session of the class, we studied history lesson 1, that is evolution of a human cell society. In that lesson, we studied a lot of things, that is age of information, Herodotus, father of a history, archaeology, geology, anthropology, and the oldest museums, different eras, and so on. And in this lesson, Today we are going to study about the prehistoric culture. We will see the next part of this lesson that is prehistoric cultures. For this prehistoric period we have no writing evidences. Fossil bones are classified as various species that is Homo habilis, Homo erectus and Neanderthals. This and the we studied yesterday also. On the basis of lithic tools, here lithic means stones. So, tools made by stones and the cultures are assigned as old Darwin technology, okay, old Darwin technology, lower, middle and upper Paleolithic and Mesolithic cultures, okay. So, cultures are assigned as old Darwin technology, lower, middle and upper Paleolithic and Mesolithic cultures. The human ancestors made different varieties of tools. Okay. Human ancestors made different varieties of tools. They are found in one important place that is Lokuri. What's the name of that? Lokuri. Lokuri is located in Kenya and it is founded 3.3 million years ago. Another one type of tools are known as old oven tools. These old oven tools are found in old oven gorge in Africa. Can you remember old oven gorge? Yesterday we studied in the Africa map old oven gorge in Africa. The tools are found in old oven gorge. So the tools are called as old oven tools. They are 2 to 2.6 million years old. How many years old? 2 to 2.6 million years old. The human ancestors used the hammer stones and they produced a sharp edged flakes. Sharp edged flakes. Flake means a small chip removed from a lot of stone block. Okay. One very big stone is there. From that one small piece is removed. That is known as flake. Okay. With the help of that flake they are using and producing water tools. And they use the tools for cutting, slicing, processing, food, etc. Nowadays also we are using this knife and other tools for cutting, slicing and other purposes. Now, like that only that people making tools with the help of stones. And that tools they were using for what the cutting, slicing and processing. Isn't it? Next, lower paleolithic culture. What is that? Lower paleolithic culture. The culture of Homo habilis and Homo erectus. Homo habilis one set of people. Homo erectus another set of people. Okay. Okay. So, the culture of Homo habilis and Homo erectus is called Lower Paleolithic culture. Okay. In this Lower Paleolithic culture, Homo habilis are there, Homo erectus are there. There are two sets of people. These people flaked large stones and designed various types of tools. Okay. They are using designs to make tools also or in the tools they are making designs including hand axes and cleavers. Here cleavers means like knife only. Like a knife only. These tools we can find in the continents of Africa, Asia and Europe. Okay, three continents, what are they? Africa, Asia and Europe. These tools we can find in three continents, Asia, Africa and Europe. These tools are also known as bifaces. What's the spelling for bi? B-I, not B-Y. Okay, bifaces, B-I, bifaces. Bifaces means tools making on both sides. That is tools making on both sides. Bi means two, face means side. So, by face means two faces. Yes, tools making with the two faces, two sides. The hand axe tools are also known as Julian. Why it is called by the name Achurian? No, Achurian is a place in France. So, the tools are first of all found in Achur. The place is in France. So, it is called as Achurian 
tools. In India, this type of tool making was there and this tradition continued till 250,000 years to 60,000 years ago. This Achillean type of tools we can find in our country also that is in Tamil Nadu, Chennai and in Karnataka, Isambur and in Madhya Pradesh that is Bimbatka, okay, Chennai, Isambur, Bimbatka. Here Bimbatka is in Madhya Pradesh, Isambur is in Karnataka, Chennai, you people know that is in Tamil Nadu. But why we people, the ancestors do not have any language skills. Sometimes they might have used some sounds or words. They hunted animals and ate the meat of the animals which were killed by predators. Okay, ma? So they are hunting the animals and they are eating the meat of the animals which are killed by predators. Do you know what some of predators? Say some example for predators lion, cheetah, tigers. Okay. They used to plant the food also. Example roots, nuts, and the fruits. Next, we will see Middle Paleolithic culture. Okay, Middle Paleolithic culture. After 398,000 years BC, okay, after 398,000 years BC, that's before common era, changes occurred in lithic technology in Africa. Lot of changes occurred in which continent? The continent of Africa. Homo erectus, you know, Homo erectus means what set of people? They lived during this period. They lived during this period. Anatomically, modern humans emerged before 3 lakhs years ago. How many years ago? 3 lakhs years ago. In this period, much attractive designs they used to make hand axes. Attractive designs they used for the making of hand axes. They produced smaller tools also for their purposes, different purposes, okay. The core was prepared by them. Do you know what's the meaning of a core? Core means a very big piece of stone, very big piece of stone. From that very big piece of stone only they are taking small piece and making other tools also. And here they are following on different methods to make the tools. That is known as the Lavaloisan method. What is the Lavaloisan method? This Lavalois is a town in France. Okay. Lavalois is a town in France. So it is called by the name what a Lavaloisan method. This type of tools are found in the continents of Europe, Central Asia and Western Asia. Okay, totally three. What are they? Europe. Central Asia and Western Asia. These types of tools we can find. This Middle Paleolithic culture appeared in Europe and parts of Western Asia and South Asia. Isn't it? Europe, part of Western Asia and South Asia. Different varieties of tools were made during this period and they were used till 28,000 BCE. 20,000 BC before common era. The people, those who lived in this period, is called the Neanderthals. We know very nicely about the people Neanderthals. They buried the dead people and they were the first people to bury the dead people properly. Isn't it? So, Neanderthals were the first people to bury the dead people properly. Next, we will see Upper Paleolithic culture. What is the Upper Paleolithic culture? After the Middle Paleolithic, Upper Paleolithic culture died. New techniques were followed in the production of tools. Okay, during the Upper Paleolithic period, what is the important thing? New techniques were followed in the production of tools. Long blades, burins were also produced. Here, do you know the meaning of the word burins? Stone made chisel. Okay, what is the meaning of burins? Stone made chisel. So, very long blades and the burins, that is a stone made chisel, they are produced. People used silica contented raw materials. What is that? Silica contented raw materials to prepare other varieties of tools also. Numerous paintings and art objects were made by the people. Microliths, microliths means small stone tools. They were also prepared by the people. 
as a result of a human evolution, modern human first appeared in Sub-Saharan Africa. What's the name of the place? Sub-Saharan Africa. Then they began to move various parts of our continent, Asia. Our continent, Asia. During this period in Europe, one set of people lived. They were known as Cro-Magnans. What's the name of that? Cro-Magnans. Cro-Magnans lived in Europe. Okay. Horns and ivory were used for making tools and artworks. What are the things? Horns and ivory were used for making different varieties of tools. They used bone needles, fish hooks, harpoons and spears. Here harpoons means one variety of spear only. Okay. Harpoons means one variety of spear only. They were wearing clothes and cooking food. Okay. They wore clothes and cooking food. The dead bodies were buried with folded hands over their chest. Send it children. Dead bodies were buried with folded hands over their chest. Nowadays we can see the paintings, clay model and the carving of those people. The people worshipped the goddess Venus. The goddess was made up of stones and bones. Okay. So, the goddess, they are worshipping this Venus goddess. But, they are making this goddess with the help of stones and bones. Amazing, no? This was created in Europe and some parts of Asia. Okay. Europe and some, and some parts of Asia. So, then, next ice age. Okay. Ice age. The period before 8000 BCE, before common era, before 8000 BCE is called as Ice Age. Why? You know, because in that time many parts of the world was covered by ice and snow. Can you remember how it was? Okay. And the Mesolithic culture, it is also known as the Medial Stone Age. Mesolithic culture, Mesolithic period, it is also known as what? Medial Stone Age. This period is in between Paleolithic period and the Neolithic period. Okay, wa? Paleolithic period and the Neolithic period. People used to microliths that we know that is small stone tools. Okay, and their main work was the hunting and gathering. Okay, what's the main work of hunting and gathering? After the Ice Age, global warming occurred. After the Ice Age, what was there? Global warming occurred. So, they began to move and occupied different and various eco zones. Okay, various eco zones. You know what's the meaning of eco zones? We can get some examples. Eco zones, seashores, mountain regions, river basins, and dry areas. These are the examples for which one eco zones. They gave much importance to microlithic technology. They made tiny artifacts, you know, artifacts, tools made by the human beings. Or tools modified by the human beings. And it is less than 5 cm in size, okay. They made tiny artifacts, less than 5 cm in size. Very small. Take your scale and see. 5 cm, how it is and how the tools were. They produced points, scrappers and arrowheads. Arrowheads even they made. They used geometric tools also. Example, triangles and trapezes. Okay. Examples were geometric tools, triangles and trapezes. For these tools, wooden or bone handles were used. Okay. Wood or bone they took and they made handles also with the help of that. Next, we will see Neolithic culture and the beginning of agriculture. So, from this, what we can understand that during the Neolithic culture, they are giving much importance to what agriculture. In this period, people introduced agriculture and they domesticated animals. Okay. So, agriculture was there and animal domestication is also there. It is an important period in history. We can get different varieties of evidences for this Neolithic Neolithic period in the fertile crescent of Egypt and Mesopotamia. Fertile crescent of Egypt and Mesopotamia. The Indus region, Ganga river region and China. So, Egypt, Mesopotamia, Indus region, Ganga river region and China. You can see this a Neolithic culture. Neolithic set of people. The people followed agriculture 10,000 
BCE to 5000 BCE. BCE means what? Before common era. Fertile crescent. Here we should know what is fertile crescent. The areas covering Egypt, Israel, Palestine and Iraq. This region is in the shape of a crescent moon. So it is called as fertile crescent. This Neolithic age is called New Age because new grinding and polishing techniques were used for making tools. New grinding and polishing methods were used for making tools. The domestication of animals and the cultivation of plants increased the production of grains as well as animal food. Also, the river deposited fertile soil on its banks. The fertile soil helped the growth of agriculture. People preferred river basins to live. And the domestication and the cultivating paved the way for the excess food production. Okay. Domestication and the Cultivating plants paved the way for excess food production. This food production was the main cause for the development of early civilizations. Permanent residences were built and large villages also emerged. So, development of this period is called the Neolithic Revolution. Neolithic Revolution. What are the developments? Agriculture, domesticating animals, surplus food protection, development of a civilization and the permanent residence. Yes, this is developments now. So, this period is called as Neolithic Revolution. Next, prehistoric time. Yes, our state, lower Paleolithic culture. Hominins, the human ancestors, made oldest stone age tools, have been produced in our state Tamil Nadu. Here, the stone tools are found near Chennai, especially Adhiram Park. Okay, stone tools are found near Chennai, especially at Adhiram Park. The help of archaeological excavation of Adhiram Park and the cosmic ray exposure. Cosmic ray exposure, dating of the artifacts. We can conclude that the people lived here about 1.5 to 2 million years ago. 1.5 to 2 million years ago. Archaeological excavation means digging the land to recover stone tools, pottery, animal bones and bones to understand the past. Okay, what are the things? Stone tools. Pottery, animal bones and the bones. With the help of this we can understand the past. Cosmic ray exposure dating. Cosmic ray exposure dating. This is a method in which exposure to cosmogenic rays is done for dating of samples. Okay, dating of samples. And the Kosatalaya, name of a river, Kosatalaya, it is in Chennai. And it's a major river for the cradle of a human ancestors in the world. Okay, human ancestors, the cradle of a human ancestors. Homo erectus is a set of people lived here. Which is a set of people? Homo erectus is a set of people lived here. Okay. Sir Robert Bruce Foot. Sir Robert Bruce Foot. He was a geologist from England. He was the first person who discovered Paleolithic tools at the Pallavaram in 1863. Paleolithic tools at Pallavaram in 1863. Where is Pallavaram? It is near Chennai. The hand axe assemblages were considered this Metro's stone tool industry. Metro's stone tool industry. We can see the discovered tools in Chennai Museum. Okay. In Chennai Museum. The Paleolithic people hunted wild animals and they gathered fruits, nuts, leaves and they were eating the things. These people did not have the idea about iron and pottery making. Idea about iron and the pottery making. Hand axes and the cleavers. Cleavers means small knife like tools. Small knife like tools. These are hand axes and the cleavers are the important tools of a lower Paleolithic period. Okay, lower Paleolithic period. They used these tools for cutting, digging and piercing. Cutting, digging and also piercing. They used hammer stones and spheroids. Hammer stones and also spheroids. They chose quartzite pebbles and cobbles as raw materials. Okay, they chose 
pots say pebbles and the cobbles as raw materials. These tools are a character pallavaram, gudiyam kem, adhiram pakkam, vadamadurai and the yerumai vetti palayam. One more place is there for Ikulam. Okay. And this is a Pallavaram that is nearby Chennai. Gudiyatham Kev that is in Thiruvallur district nearby Poonti Reservoir. Adhiram Pakkam that is 60 kilometers away from Chennai. Vada Madurai and the Yerumai Vetti Palayam that is a metropolitan city in North Chennai. Okay. And the lower Paleolithic tools are also found in North Orchard and Thermopoly, isn't it? North Orchard and Thermopoly also we can see lower Paleolithic tools. The people used the basalt rocks, okay? Basalt rocks to manufacture artifacts. Manufacture artifacts. We do not have any evidence about this lower Paleolithic culture in Sri Lanka and the western parts of Tamil Nadu. Western parts of Tamil. This lower Paleolithic culture is about 2 to 1.5 million at Adhiram Park. Okay. With this I finish today's session. We will meet again surely in the next session. Prepare well. Prepare one word answers. Study nicely. Bye bye.